back in the chat room, flirting after 50. Joining us right now, Barbara Bellman. Did you like the little opening there? That Dan I love the opening. I absolutely love the opening. And you both did some very interesting things to set this up, to set this interview up. First of all, you were flirting with your boa and your dangly earrings and your flirty mm -hmm. dress. But the issue is when you're over 50, you don't look so good in the dangly earrings <laughs> and, the, and the flirty things. It looks actually easy, a little Barb, bit let ridiculous. Her down easy. Uh, wait a minute, easy. I haven't had 50 yet. You're, I'm you're, holding. you're far away from 50. Okay, but, uh, but when you get to a certain age, you start to notice that the things that were fun and flirty in your closet don't look good anymore. And you might want to still see yourself as 20 or 30, but you're not. And the mirror isn't going to lie. And so when that reality starts to hit and you realize, you know, I can't do that anymore and have it really come across well, mm -hmm. then you start to think, maybe I'm losing my game. And how do I go about communicating that I'm attracted to somebody mm -hmm. else or that I still feel attractive? That's the problem. Over the age of 50, when you start to feel insecure and things start to unravel for you, how do you turn it into a positive where you can get back okay. in the game. Sixty-four thousand dollar questions for you, ladies, and the guys out there want to know. Here it is, Barbara. You sitting now? Do you have your seatbelt on, by the way? I do. Yeah. I bring it hard and fast. <laughs> when do you guys know that you've got ulterior motives? That you would be you're more than just interested in them as a friend. That you would like to give him a hint. That you would like to take. He'd like to you you'd have him take you out. Something along that because. Women, if you haven't noticed, can get a little confusing to us guys. We Dan, just let me help you. Yeah, we just we just need to <laughs> this, know. This means I, you know that, that means okay. I get that. I understand that. That means I want to go out. Exactly. Okay, but but see, women can be confusing sometimes. Yes, women can, and a lot of times that women get, women of a certain age start to get very self-conscious, mm -hmm. and so they aren't comfortable giving out the kind of signals that a younger woman might necessarily do. Please and, give the signal soon, would you please? Okay, I'll I, give you a signal. Yes. Okay. Dan, I'd really like to get to know you better. Eye contact, I love that. I noticed now, that right what away. Did I do? Yes. yes. I made eye contact. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to touch you or approach you or come on to you, but by saying, I'd like to get to know you better, what does that make you feel like when a woman or when anybody says that to mm -hmm. you? You feel like, wow, this person is interested in me. I'm not sitting here saying, hey, Dan, I'm really hot. Do you want to kick me out? <laughs> but you really do like that well, too, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 well. She's had some practice at that. Yeah. I, I'm, just, I'm just remembering how yes. it used to be. But, but now, at this point in time, yes. the most compelling thing that I can do to make you interested in me, mm -hmm. or hope you'll be interested in me, is to let you know that I'm interested in you. And Barbara, you know, baby boomers, we are uh, growing up and we are aging. And 50 plus, 50 is a new 40, 40 is a new 30. You hear that all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, I just don't feel like we feel our age. I mean, you think about how our parents, when they were in their 40s or 50s, they seemed really old or 60s. And it's yes. not. And still it's to be not. vibrant. And I, and I think that that's very relevant right now. And we're noticing that the demographics are growing. 50 plus is a huge market. And people need uh, interaction and want relationship. Yes. And I love what you say about um, not being so standoffish and going ahead and pl not playing the coy game, but just being up front. And then if they say, no, you know, I'm not interested or I'm with somebody, it's okay. And this is Move a different on. paradigm change for women of, of the new millennium, mm -hmm. if you will. It is. It's such a different time. And there is a point at time where a, a woman will realize that she needs to be looking at age-appropriate men for her. Mm -hmm. I'm, I know that it's uh, it's fun to talk about the cougar woman, yes. the older wow, woman and you younger said man. It. Yeah. The uh, cougar Terrence. woman, <laughs> Helen, hi, hi. <laughs> Derek. And and for those women who can carry that the off, I, I, I think that's great. But there are a lot of women who can't carry that off. And uh, people have asked me, well, what do you think about this this cougar woman situation? And I'll. I'll put it in the same situation as a, an older man and a much younger woman. Silver eventually, Fox, yeah. eventually, you have to be able to talk about something that is realistic to you. My husband wanted to be with somebody who knew who Ella Fitzgerald was. And when I'm with somebody who doesn't know who Dick Van Dyke is, it's a little <laughs> hard for me to relate. That's right. So what has been the, the, the biggest compliment you've gotten from this book from women plus 50? What is the one thing that they can really hone in on if they're interested in a, in a gentleman? At a library, uh, at the grocery store, store. There's a lot of different. Or places, those different. Right? Aside from the bar. Serendipity. And, well, people can meet. You, you can talk to people anywhere. Mm -hmm. The idea is that you you first have to 
be comfortable with yourself and realize you're not the 30-year-old ingenue and you're not competing with the 30-year-old no. ingenue. You're in your own age category and you can be open and friendly. You've accomplished a lot in your life. You're a person in your own right. And you need to be able to be comfortable to turn around to somebody in the, in the grocery line and, and ask, how much did those avocados cost you? Mm -hmm. Okay, that to a man, he might think, that's not flirting, which is good. Yeah. Because what she's doing is just making an opening for a conversation. Right. He says, I paid $1.95. Wow, you know, how much are the cantaloupes? Get into a conversation. Make it about something other than, gee, you're a hottie, I'd like to take you home with me. It's right. not about that anymore. <laughs> you mean that actually happens mm. out there? Well, it does when you're younger. And when you do it when you're older, it looks ridiculous. Mm. You have to find ways to communicate with one another that are that are, are low threat and you, you gradually can build up to a higher risk level. But so many women, as they get older, and men too, and this is the problem with dating when you're older, is that everyone has these little insecurities that make them kind of look down and look away and they don't, you're worried about, gee, if I, if I touch a woman, is that gonna be inappropriate? Yeah. And how will I know? All of these signals that women give that are mixed signals, very liberated women who have been successful, who have achieved a lot. They have this attitude of, don't even think of parking here. I can open my own car door. I can pull out my own chair. I can flip on the light and change the light bulb. And yes, they can do all those things, but why? Mm -hmm. Why not just say thank you when a man opens the door? Allow chivalry right. to happen. Thank allow you. it. Allow, allow me to get your chair for I you, will Helen. next time, Dan. There was a, there <laughs> was a, independent here. There was a commercial years ago for a cologne, and it said, if you want him to be more of a man, try being more of a woman. Mm. And you know, there's nothing unfeminist about that. It's just smart. Men want to be men. Men want to be able to pursue. Men want to feel like you still admire them mm -hmm. and adore them. What's so hard about that for women to do? Just because you run a company by day doesn't mean you can't be soft at night. And I think one of the things I, I have found is women truly, truly want the man to lead mm -hmm. and they no matter how they do it I'm not flirting with you touching here this is a very endearing touch yes it but is. you it's can a, you know yeah, what it's a very endearing this is touch. an endearing touch and yet is it inappropriate are you feeling no, uncomfortable not at all. no but but I think women really want men yes. to lead and to b have women be pursued they don't like to be always be the pursuer you're they like right. to be the pursuee you're right I read that in, I think, His Needs and Her Needs about right. 20 years ago or so. I had a woman say to me once, it's hard to be smart all day and dumb all night. <laughs> but you don't have to be. It isn't that contrast. You don't have to have it be so black and white. A woman wants a man to be a man. That's right. So Amen. We can, we can get your book at Flirting After 50, Lessons for Grown-Up Women on How to Find Love Again. And I love that. And really... Finding love, you could have uh, parties where you're social, you know, people get together and and make it non-threatening. Just invite a bunch of different people over and just have a, a good get together. There are a lot of women that find themselves uh, single by divorce or widowhood. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that they get very uncomfortable still socializing in their regular network. Oh, yes. And I tell women all the time, I did this, I invited the couple friends over. And I made sure that they knew that I was still very comfortable with them as a person. Right. I wasn't coming on to their husbands, and I wasn't wanting them to fix me up. I just wanted them to know I still want to relate as a person. That bottom line is really what it's all about. Right. Will this apply to a woman that's only 40 years old, too? I mean, they can read that. Yes, absolutely. There was so, so much that I Was that a subtle like, flirt you. to her? <laughs> yeah. And so I'm touching, I'm, I'm endearing her. I want jewelry, Dan. If oh. you touch me, you're going to have to buy me a piece of jewelry. Speaking of jewelry, Greystone Jewelers is up next. Bryce Adams in the chat room. Thank you, Barbara. This is YN2 Page in Kuwait. Happy holidays to my son Mark in Winslow, Arizona. I love you, miss you, and see you soon. 